So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has, has a hit! Marvellous goal! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt and here we are, early stages. He struck one and he looks hungry for more. He does it all with an air of efficiency and simplicity. Well, how's that for composure, Peter? You can see the keeper tried to put as much pressure on him by staying upright, but it didn't phase him, not in the slightest. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Alderweireld. Alderweireld gets it out to the wing. Aurier. And here's Lucas Moura. And here's Kane. Now it's Son Heung-min going through. Kane opts to play. Has a pop! That has certainly tested the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Keeper has beaten it away. That's some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Aurier battles to win it back. And it's Aurier. That is terrific skill. Lo Celso proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Granite Chaka. Beckham hoists it forward. Clive Hertz. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Well, that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. And back to base. And it's Sergio Ramos. Sergio Ramos tries making a foreign... Climate! Ricky Long. And it's played forward. Lucas Mora. Kimmich. Granite Chaka. Barcelona are looking odds on to go in at the break with their advantage intact. Forward it goes. It's a loose ball. Ronaldo trying to... Oh, real danger here! And the whistle goes for half-time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. I'm sure they'll be very happy with their first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job.
Barcelona come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. That gets things going for the second half. Barcelona going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Rafael Varane. Now it's Kluivert. Kimmich. Kimmich goes looking. Kimmich, Kluivert, Kluivert, Lucas Moura, Sanchez, Barcelona are ahead here by what is still the only goal. And it's Kane. Son Hyung Min. He's left his man. Gets up to head it. It's in. They have done it. They have their equaliser. Oh, an absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's a very good contest with... Mbappe! Goal! Barcelona! And they get themselves in front! What a clean hit. No one gets in the way of that. Well, the technique generates the power in that situation, and once power is assured, any goalkeeper's up against it. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been, go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Barcelona get themselves into the lead. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Son Hyung Min. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Pjanic. Mbappe. Lo Celso. And it's Varan. Kimmich. He's come loose. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Keeper's got good distance on that. And here's Son Hyung Min. 
Reggie Lon, who does have an assist to his name. Son Jung Min floats one over. Lucas Moura goes towering header. Oh, just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Messi plays it forward. Barcelona has a hit! What a rocket! That is special! That is a gem! An absolute gem! A two-goal lead and they're firmly in control. Well, no goalkeeper would keep that out. It really was a bullet. Yeah, I just thought he made great use of his upper body there. It would have taken something really special to keep that out. Two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Well, that's a really bitter blow. I think it's going to be very hard for them to find the character to respond from that. Son Hyung Min looking to get on the end of this. Ronaldinho. And there goes the final whistle. So they have their win. So, perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar, and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Well, if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Leonardo Bonucci. He's as imposing as they come, Peter. And he knows just how to use his, his physical attributes to make life difficult for attackers. He's also got a very good eye for a killer long ball. So don't be surprised if you see him launch a few counter-attacks for his team today. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. Morata. Xhaka battles to win it back. Messi. Ibrahimovic. Well, each team knows that they're still well below standard, and it's a question of uh, which can uh, find a way out. Out to the right. Beckham with the... Massive leap! Goal! Barcelona! Barcelona are in front! Barcelona produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific brand of football to watch, and importantly, it is a strong end product. Barcelona draw first blood here. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. Ronaldo cuts it out. Now it's Morata. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Granit Xhaka. 
He spotted the run and played him through. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Danilo. Rabio. Barcelona are leading with half time drawing close. Alexandro plays it over to the other flank. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1 0. Rabio. And here's Morata. Morata really was well marshaled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Now it's Ronaldinho. It's Ronaldinho! And we've reached half time. Well, there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Barcelona happy to have the lead in a tight old game. Half time, 1 0. And we are already promptly back on the way. Barcelona carrying a one goal lead. Chiellini. Alexandro. Cristiano Ronaldo. Rabio. Danilo. Quadrado. Arthur. And here's Dybala. He's through. Now is he in? The second half sparks straight into life. That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions. How quick-minded was that? That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on show. It could go either way. Out for a throw. Morata. He's got away. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Granit Xhaka. Nicely measured pass. He's away. And the shot. Goal! Barcelona! And again they hit the front. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been, go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Barcelona go into the lead. 
Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Across the field it goes. Xhaka gets it back. Kimmich. And here's the chance to counter. Mbappe has... Mbappe! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Mbappe clearly urging that to slip inside the aluminium. That's unfortunate. Arthur. Alexandro drives it forward. Now it's Dybala. Rabio, who has made his impact already. And it's Dybala. Dybala plays it out to the flank. Quadrado could try cutting inside here. Now it's... Has a hit! Juventus are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Fernandinho. Messi. Messi switches it towards the other side. And helps available out wide. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Bernadeschi is there to heave it away. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Ronaldo looks to get on the end of this. Shaka. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. And that's it. Barcelona win it by the odd goal. Almost nothing in it. Perhaps a draw would have felt fairer. But that's the game and they have won it at the margin. Well, what are your thoughts on today's? Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. And already we're underway here. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Coutinho. He's a, a real magician with a wand of a right foot. His control is, is brilliant, and he can pick out a through pass with the very best in the world. He's also scored plenty of long-range efforts in his time too, so defences will need to be sure not to give him time to line up a shot. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Over to the left. He has it out wide now. Yeah, very careless, and uh, I leave it at that. Fernandinho. Well, both sides have actually looked poor going forward. We've hardly seen anything meaningful yet. He's left his man. And that has been clubbed away. Pique did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Gets wrestled off the ball. Lovely bit of skill there. He gets past his man. 
That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. it Baran gets into some space tries to strip big chance goal Barcelona he was urged to shoot and he duly delivered. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserve to. Barcelona take the lead listen when it comes to goals Peter in this team he's always the number one contender and he's done it again Coutinho Roberto now it's Messi played into the middle last ditch defending but that'll do And it's played forward. And we hit half time. So there you have it. A close sport half of football. But one that still had its moments. But ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Barcelona come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is. At least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. And the second half gets on the way. Barcelona carrying a one-goal lead. Kimmich. And it's Varane. Oh, the whistle's gone. What's he given? No, the referee's judged that the offence took place outside the area. Well, not the best way to deal with it, but... The, the old threat of pace clearly made him feel a tad uncomfortable. There could be trouble here, but for now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. PK knocks it away. In again. Gets up to head it! And he's there to make a great save. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Fernandinho. Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho! No mistake! 
And with that goal comes comfort. Oh, that was a cracking little exchange to set up the finish and a lovely understanding between both players. I mean, that's clearly tailored on the training ground and delivered beautifully on match day. Barcelona grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Pjanic. Philippe Coutinho. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. He's had a look, and Coutinho! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Oh, great ball and the finish oh, another save yeah well he won't be happy with some of the defending in front of him he can hold his head high that was a fantastic stop Just brushed off the ball there. Dinks one in. Oh, delightful ball. Baran. And the shot! And more, and more, and more. And the lead is three. It is surely done. Oh, the invitation was received with such a clever run. And he had that defence in, in utter confusion. Barcelona take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Messi. And it's Griezmann. Oh, they can break here. Chance to shoot. And he should have made it for... OK, it's come to nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. Barcelona can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Well, to wait until now to make this change seems a bit baffling. He's expecting the miraculous to turn this around from here. Ronaldinho. Just five minutes remaining now. Piquet. Longley. And time is up. Barcelona, winners of a no contest. They just swamped their opponents in superior quality. 
Your final thoughts, Jim? What I most admire about this outfit is the cohesion and the willingness to work hard as a unit and getting behind the ball. Doing the ugly... Oh, what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have uh, rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing around the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognizable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. The action has already started. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Tony Kroos. His passing range is second to none, Peter. He can ping it out to either wing with wonderful accuracy or play a cute through ball into the box when under a lot of pressure. His teammates will be looking to get him on the ball as often as they can because they know how much he can hurt defences. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. Tries to get it forward quickly. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Tony Kroos. Hazard. Valverde. This game is in need of some excitement. It needs help, and it's down to the creative and striking talent to up their game and, and give this crowd something to cheer about. Ibrahimovic. And it's Beckham. Pjanic. Rafael Varane. Casemiro battles to win it back. Varane. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. And he has shown him a yellow card. It's hit the crossbar. Decent hit from there. Tony Kroos. Across the field it goes. Dinks one in. Gets away from his opponent. And it's Varane. Pjanic. Fernandinho. Pjanic. Fernandinho. Chip through. Tries to get it clear. And it's the whistle for half time. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. We have to look back on the first 45 minutes. I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. Well, after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change perhaps after half time.
Here we go again. Barcelona clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. That's a throw. Aimed in towards the centre. Sergio Ramos is there to heave it away. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. Pjanic. Varane. Kimmich. Up towards the hour mark and still no goals. Benzema. Valverde. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Madrid have a free kick. Well, that's a booking. Always looked it. Fernandinho attempts a clearance. Massive leap! Oh, taken with style! Well, it was a hefty deflection, but he's claiming it. Madrid take the lead. Look, you can't deny that it's a blow, but this game is far from unsalvageable. Messi. And it's Ronaldinho. This is promised. Has a goal! No mistake! Barcelona are back in business. Oh, high quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Barcelona grab the equaliser and we're all square yeah it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored you can easily lose focus and then bang you're pegged back again Ronaldinho Varane closing in on the last quarter of an hour and he's surging through Casemiro tries to clear. And here's Ronaldinho. Has a hit! Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb.
Kroos has created one goal already. Benzema. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Pjanic. There's the through ball. It's a great... Hits one! This could fall anywhere. So that's it. It is all over. Passion and panache and perseverance and in the end parity. A really good game to watch. Your reflections then, Jim. Listen, the more this game went on, a draw was always likely to be on the card. So overall, I don't think... Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is uh, a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the... Has a hit! Oh, denied brilliantly! Sergio Ramos really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Defending of the desperate variety. Danger averted for now. Cuts it out. And it's Messi. Pjanic. Rebic with good energy in defence as well. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Chalanolu. Hernandez. It's a loose ball. Rebic plays a clever pass. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Kessier. And it's Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic. Well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Ramos lobs it in gently. Varane. He's had a shot! Goal! Barcelona! The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late.
Barcelona. Draw first blood here. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Chelhanolu. And it's Ibrahimovic. Rebic. Ball's gone out of play. Kessier. Xhaka does well there. Alert. Referee's had a look. And he's blown his whistle for half-time. Well, there we are. Off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Barcelona happy to have the lead in a tight old game. Half time, 1 0. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Barcelona going well here and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Janic. and it's played forward Beckham Pjanic team still separated by the game's only goal Romagnoli gets into the right position to intercept and the defence can get it clear he could have been in just needed a better final ball Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. That's a decent ball. Going for goal! Really well taken goal. Two up now, and they are cruising. Barcelona are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Milan have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Barcelona take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Hit into the middle. A really good feat from him. Chalanolu goes looking. Ibrahimovic finds himself eased off the ball. Over to the left. Mbappe. It's a tries a shot. And it's there! And they are pulling clear here. Oh, high quality goal. Lovely first touch. Sumptuous second.
We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. Barcelona take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Plays it over to the other flank. Gets wrestled off the ball. Now it's Clivert. Partey. He's got away. Goes for goal. Always going over the top. Oh, that's nice. Great leap! Outstanding save to keep that out. Loris catches it safely. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Barcelona were irresistible here. Dominant, utterly ruthless. Only ever one result, a comfortable win. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Barcelona will walk away happy from... So, perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar, and it has added to... And the shot! Marvellous goal! And some of the best managers I've played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Yeah, the pass was bang on, and he just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on too. Chelsea didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Chilwell goes long. hudson Adoy provides an outlet. They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box, and that speaks of little ambition. Cristiano Ronaldo. Mbappe. And the ball's come out. Battles to win it back. Xhaka hits that long. Zayek. Tries to get it forward quickly. Werner. Gets away from his opponents. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. And it's Sergio Ramos. Keeps everyone guessing. Ball driven towards the far post. That's a brilliant interception. Chilwell. Raspilicueta. Barcelona scored early, of course, and the score is 1 0. Zayek. 
Looks to play him in, but uh, a minor communications breakdown. Tried to play it through. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Chilwell. And it's Chilwell. And he's going long. He's gone for it! Tried the volley, but no. Well, I think his mind was made up the way that ball arrived. And I certainly admire his willingness to hit the volley. Strong punch. And it's played forward. Varane. Mbappe, Mbappe, sticks it away, and this is getting better and better. That is just remarkable, the amount of bend he got on that. You know, what was notable in that, Peter, was the fact that he didn't try to blast it, he chose placement instead and delivered a peach. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Barcelona get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Caps it out. And the half-time whistle goes. Some first-half thoughts. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Barcelona ahead 2-0, and they are looking good. And the second half gets on the way. hudson Otoy. Yeah, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Granit Xhaka. Partey. Messi drives it forward. Dinks one in. Partey. Barcelona with this handy looking 2-0 lead. They are looking comfortable. And it's Varane. Mbappe has a pop! And more and more and more. And surely that settles it. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. This is one of the best performances I've seen in a while. He's practically taken on this team single-handedly, and they don't know how to stop him. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Thiago Silva. hudson Otoy. Werner. And Zayek! Oh, top draw save from the keeper. Yeah, maybe the circumstances are beginning to heap on the pressure because they're trying to force it. And it's Sergio Ramos. Played out to the right. Beckham. 
goes for goal. They've done it. Players ecstatic, fans delirious. This is utopian. A truly wonderful strike, decorated with dip and curl. Well, the ball flight may be unpredictable, but the predictable part was the technique. It screamed goal all the way. Four in the game. He is the man. Barcelona totally rampant here. Thiago Silva. Hudson Odoi. Well, decisiveness has deserted them, Peter. They need precision, and it's sadly absent. Mbappe. He's left his man. Beautifully done. In towering header. No mistake. Oh, the cross was inch perfect. And the header unerring. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous. And it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Barcelona can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Chelsea playing for pride here. The match surely be on them. Partey. Hoists it forward. Looks to dink one in. Thiago Silva. And the referee brings it to a close. Barcelona, comfortable winners, a virtuoso display, utterly one-sided. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Barcelona gave themselves a dream start in this by scoring with their, their first attempt. So, perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar, and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. And we have in front of us this gloriously... Has a hit! Oh, that is asking for trouble. Rashford. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Granit Xhaka. Beckham. Pogba. Ibrahimovic does well to read it and intercepts. Mbappe 
bring Mbappe! Oh, denied brilliantly! Mbappe simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Alex Tellez, Rashford going full tilt down the left. Well, try as they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. And it's Sergio Ramos. Oh, he's found him. Mbappe! Goal! Barcelona! Barcelona are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Barcelona get themselves into the lead. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Now it's Cavani. And they've been caught out here. And the shot! And yes, it's there! Manchester United are back on level terms. That was easy. Almost too easy. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Hopper gets rid without sophistication. Granit Xhaka. Mbappe. Real chance! Oh, that is an awful miss. All he'll be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Arte. Granite Xhaka and it's Sergio Ramos shot a goal and that would have been some goal he's the one player you want on the ball running at defences and that's precisely why Ibrahimovic Partey That's great strength on the ball. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So a very watchable game so far. Action at both ends and the team's level. Barcelona head into the dressing room after a half in which we've seen two goals, one each. And the game right on edge. Second period then underway. Barcelona can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up. Has a pop! It's anyone's ball. He's going after it. And that has been clubbed away.
And that has been cleared. Cavani has set up one goal so far. Martial. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Fernandinho. He spotted the run and played him through. Cavani. Oh, good. Van der Beek! Goal! Manchester United! And the game is well and truly turned on its head! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Manchester United go into the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend. But now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. Messi. And it's Messi. And the shot! In it goes! Well, that's something that will make the manager proud because they dug in deep then and they've got their leveller. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. This is quite a battle. Well, there's resilience for you, Peter. As a side, they never lost focus despite the setback. And this is thoroughly merited for me. Now they can go one better, possibly. Pjanic. Cavani. And now they can launch a counter. Good running with the ball. Can goes for goal! An absolute thunderbolt! Sumptuous finish, an absolute joy! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Manchester United are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. So we have a breakthrough. Now how will things develop from here?
Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Van der Beek. And it's Rashford. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? Oh, real danger here. Rashford heads it. Oh, that could cost them. Cavani nearly produced the perfect retort. That can only be a means to have another go. Beckham. Pogba concedes a free kick for that. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card. Well, he stayed down and is in very obvious discomfort here. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Surely a shot. So he's had a go. It's a goal. And this is getting better and better. The first touch was absolutely heavenly, and because of it, the finish was a mere formality. Two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Well, that's a really bitter blow. I think it's going to be very hard for them to find the character to respond from that. And the referee brings it to a close. Well, that's bounce back ability. Responding superbly to come from behind. Shrugging off setbacks along the way. And determinedly getting there in the end. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Barcelona really have... Well, good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening there has been a clamor to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game the uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic the car parks are full there is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled an atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement Well, this really is a great... Tries a shot! There it is! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with. And to find it, I think... It was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Mondi. Fernandinho gets it back. Kimmich. Barcelona scored early, of course. 
And it's 1-0. Mbappe. Ronaldinho. And it's played forward. Bernardo Silva. And it's Sterling. Laporte. Gundogan. Kyle Walker. Fernandinho. And here's Aguero. Aguero with a delicate ball. And that has been cleared. Pull it. Kimmich. Pjanic drives it forward. Brings it forward. Mbappe! He's pulled off a fine save. Mbappe simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Stitch defending, but that'll do. Bernardo Silva. And back to base. Cristiano Ronaldo. Pjanic. And here's Sterling. De Bruyne goes long, played into space out wide. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Pjanic, who does have an assist to his name, and it's Varane. Good take, and he's had a look. Kimmich. Pjanic. Bernardo Silva. Now it's Aguero. Now it's Sterling. And the referee brings the first half to a close. So there you have it. A close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments. But ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Barcelona come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. And the game has already resumed here. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. He's gone for it! It's a goal! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Barcelona grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Bernardo Silva. Kyle Walker. Oh, well played. He needed to get that right. A 
that's gone a long way up and away. And here's Sterling, and it's Fernandinho. Pjanic battles to win it back. Kimmich. Ronaldinho. Mbappe. He gets past his man. Fernandinho. Fernandinho just goes for goal. And that's caused a worry or two. Kimmich just denied by a lick of paint. We're talking centimetres. Fernandinho plays it forward. And here's De Bruyne. Now it's Sterling. Out to the left it goes. Ronaldo can get it clear. Mbappe. And it's Varane. Has he picked him out? Oh, that's nice. It's Ronaldinho! Gundogan. Sterling. Pull it. Kimmich. Pjanic. Mbappe. He's played him through. Mbappe. De Bruyne. Zinchenko. And it's Aguero. Cristiano Ronaldo. And time is up. Barcelona did it. Terrific team effort to satisfy both the boss and the fans. Your final thoughts, Jim? Barcelona have some very strong runners from midfield, and it's not often you'll see a team be so effective by advancing through the middle like that, but this was very impressive, the way they cut through the heart of that defence. Well, that's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside... Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experienced between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special goes for goal oh great save real class oh that's a sparkling save absolutely sparkling his reflexes were ultra sharp Lewandowski now it's Muller. Now it's Lewandowski. Lewandowski goes up and over. Pretty robust, but it's got the job done. Oh, good determined running there, but one back by the defence. It's admirable, but ultimately he didn't know when to look for support. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Javi Martinez. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Muller. 
Lulak spreads it towards the left. Hits one! Not this time. Lewandowski rightly acknowledges such good supply and, and apologises for not doing a little bit more. Ibrahimovic tries to get it forward quickly. Pjanic. No change to the score. Nil nil it remains. And it's Sergio Ramos. Javi Martinez gets it back. Sergio Ramos really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out. Muller. Played out to the right. Gnabry 